Hello fellow th sewing enthusiast. I'm Sarah Gunn, an author and creator of the fashion sewing blog, Goodbye Valentino. Did you know that the tunic is considered to be the world's oldest garment? For thousands of years, it has gone through multiple evol evolutions, but has maintained its appeal because it is fashionable and functional. Today, I have a collection of beach tunics, and you might notice that they're all embellished with pom-poms of varying shapes and sizes. For this tunic, I personalized it with a four-inch monogram. And today, I'm going to be recreating elements from this tunic using this coral embroidered cotton. I've just removed this fabric from the embroidery machine. I embroidered the monogram with a 100% polyester embroidery thread, uh, a fade resistant thread that's very important when you're using vivid colors or when you are embroidering garments that are gonna be around the water and sun. Now, I'm gonna just quickly take this stabilizer off so you can see the embroidery. Uh, before I embroidered the fabric, used my pattern piece and I traced very lightly um, the pattern piece on the fabric. Now, then I thread traced the center front. That helped me with my placement and it also helped me keep the fabric on grain for the embroidery. So you can see, uh, you can lightly see that I've traced this. And I used a heat-soluble marker. I like using markers that will uh, disappear at the touch of the iron. And this is going to be, you can just tell by looking at the neckline, this is going to be cute, but it needs a little bit of dressing up. And that's where the pom-poms come in. All right, this is a tunic that I've been working on. The first thing I did after stitching the shoulder seams together was I added the neck facing. And using the pom-poms, I put the tape in between the neckline and the neck facing. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want the, uh, the pom-pom tape to show. So by, by doing this, this creates a very, um, uh, a very close fit with the pom-poms. They frame the neck almost like a pearl necklace would do. For the sleeve, I also used a facing. This facing is complete, and as you can tell, you don't even see the pom-pom tape. This is a piece that is in progress. I've added the facing, but I have not uh, turned it over and secured it to the sleeve. So when you're ready to make the facing, here's what you do. Start with a two and a half inch piece of your fashion fabric. Cut an inch longer than the area you intend to sew it on. Uh, for instance, these sleeves are 12 inches uh, wide and I've cut a piece of 13 inch fabric that will allow for a half inch seam allowance. Stitch the seam allowance. After stitching, I fold in a half an inch then, with a heat-soluble marker, I mark the seam allowance of, on the lower edge. I'm using a 5 8 inch. After that seam allowance is marked, it's time to pin the pom-poms on. Pin the pom-poms facing away from the raw edge. You want them facing the folded edge. And then place that tape right below your marking. That way it will be caught in the seam allowance when you're sewing. After you've pinned and basted your pom-poms, the facing will look like this. As you can tell, they're facing downwards towards the folded edge, away from the raw edge. Now, I've pinned the facing onto the lower edge of the tunic, and I'm gonna sew it on now. I'm going to sew using a zipper foot that's going to allow me to get nice and close to the seam allowance. Okay. 
and I did baste, and I'm just following the basting line. This is gonna give me a very large seam allowance, and it will need to be trimmed before I fold the basting and before I fold that seam allowance. But it's a straight shot. Okay. So the facing has been sewn on. Remove the pins. And as you can tell, that stitching caught the tape and you've got a nice clean finish for your pom-poms. And they're just gonna dangle from the bottom. No tape, just the little cotton balls finishing the edge of your tunic. Now, this tunic is complete, but if you want to up the cuteness factor, there's one more embellishment that I'd like to do for this piece of fabric. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a few of these pom-poms and with a glue stick, I'm gonna place the pom-poms just in the center of these flowers. This is gonna add a new dim dimension and a new texture to the tunic, giving it even a little more interest. You can, I would just place them randomly um, got some in progress here. And then you can stitch these on once you're secure with, uh, once you like the placement of your, of the pom-poms. So we have the pom-pom, no tape showing, framing the neck, a nice monogram, and the little flower petals. I think this tunic is ready for a little fun in the sun. Let's take a look at some of the other tunics that I brought. Let's start with the white tunic. I sewed the pom-pom um, embellishment directly onto this tunic, directly around the neckline, directly around the hem, and directly onto the sleeves. But the pom-poms really complete this tunic. These little woven dots and the pom-poms just seem to be, go hand in hand. The pink and blue navy pom-pom is sewn from cotton foil. Um, it's embellished with many pom-poms, again, sewn directly onto the tunic, around the hem, and up the slits of the tunic. This pom-pom uh, tunic, I have a combination, I've used a combination of pom-poms. Um, a double row of pom-poms around the neck, sewn directly on, and again, I use the facing that I just demonstrated for the sleeves and the hem. Pom-poms and beach tunics, they go hand in hand. What a great combination.